everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So the last episode we ran our uh, newly outfitted second lance and the mission wasn't all that great, but I mean, they did okay. Now I'm going to probably run them again. We've got some missions coming up. I want to try out the archer on um, the supply interdiction mission. Uh, so we're going to take that um, next, probably before the end of the month, we'll leave the um, the um, awesome out, obviously, because it's out for 14 days, and the end of the month is is only 11 days away. So we'll, what we'll do is we're going to do the blood feud today um, against Coalition, uh, which is um, Oregon Coalition, and it's a destroy base base mission in the urban environment. So we're going to take our main lance in here and give this a shot. So let's do the negotiation, full salvage. I'm going to accept. And we're going to take our main lance. So let's flush these guys out. Vladimir didn't take any damage last time, eh? Neither did the archer. Well, the archer didn't get really get into combat, so uh, that's why. Okay. Let's get our lance in here. B, Squire, and Metalark. And then we've got uh, Longbow, the Warhammer 2C, the we never did check to see if we had extra Warhammer 2C parts. Should probably do that at the end of this episode if I remember. Uh, Black Knight, uh, there we go, and then you and you, and let's go. Command interface initiated. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Halt and identify yourselves. We're turret inspectors here to clean your turrets. <laughs> yeah, we're here to clean your clocks that we're here for. So this is the facility, eh? We're leveling it, and then where are we going? I guess I should have looked at that, huh? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Probably going halfway across the map. Let's blow this shiz out of this place. We actually landed fairly close with this time. So we got a large, medium, medium, and a large. Okay, fair enough. Um, this is, I don't like this, the fact that you can't, can I not target the buildings on the first turn? No, you can't. That's really, really annoying. Uh, we're going to head this way. Um, yeah, supercharger on. Getting to combat faster. Let's go scout over here a little bit. Copy that. Drop into there. Oh, we got something. I think that was a turret. Okay, the vulture. Location confirmed. And the Blackhawk. Copy that, Commander. Interested to see how this new loadout for the Blackhawk works here. I think it was a turret right here that we saw. Destroy base garrison, so there should be people somewhere. See, I can't fire. It's so fucking annoying. Uh, Affirmative. Now we got contact. Screw you. Don't want to push too far forward. Oh, what do we got here? Orion, K, and Firestarter. Oh, we got lots of guys back here, too. Uh, Thunderbolt, Grasshopper. We've got a heavy Calliope turret. Just a regular heavy turret chassis. Now, 
Theoretically, they cannot shoot at us this turn, so if we get in a little closer here, don't be shy. Warning. Enemy reinforcement detected. Sure, might as well bring them all in. That looks like a stalker to me. Yep. Stalker. Victor. Victor. Quick draw. I'm sure there's something else back here too. Alright. That's not so bad. And then we've got Squire. Let's get up in here. And then... I want to flank. I don't think so. I think I want to utilize this area here. Let's get up here. I know we're kind of clustered right now, but I want to identify and eliminate the turrets as fast as possible. If we spread out, um, it's going to be harder to get more guns on the targets that I want to get the guns onto. Okay. Let's get working on these guys here. Don't know where the turrets are. Orion. Um, now he hasn't moved. What if we... Um, where's that turret? Did we lose radar on it? That should reveal it. Yeah, okay, there we go. And then we'll just shoot this guy. What's up, buddy? Good to go. Ooh, all four hit. Nice. Ooh, head hit too. Nice. Good shooting, girl. Okay, who's next? Okay, fire starter. Let's get in here. Utilize this guy's speed and get close. That's what he's designed for now, so... Look at that. Let's leave the barrage off for now. Throw the mag shot on. I mean, look at that. And no heat increase too, right? It's beautiful. Alright, let's hammer this guy. I think that's probably better than running with the two large improved heavies. I mean, the chances to hit with large improved heavies may have been close to the same, roughly, I don't know, but, um... Let's get into here. But, um... We spread the, uh, the chances to hit a little wider, which I think is a good thing. Um... What is this? That's the Calliope turret, right? Right. Let's just go ahead. Um, that looks like it's a side shot still. Ooh, we hit him in the head with the uh, large laser. We've only got 60 LK, huh? Um, interesting. Oh, that's direct fire. There's a turret right there. Did not know that. 60% with the Artemis. I think we're going to stick with the uh, Incendiary, though. I think we'll d probably end up doing more damage overall. Overall. So here it comes. Nah, not really. Get your asteroid up here. Okay. Full speed it is.
I'm gonna relock this guy. Census locked on. Just for the sake of relocking him, I don't know. All right, let's hammer this guy. Uh, we're gonna go improve because way better chances to hit. And here it comes. God, this fucking thing is a murderer. Vulture is a murderer. Alright, now I don't know where I'm jumping with her yet. Don't know where we're jumping with her yet. Uh, let's go, uh... Tell you, I think I know what I'm doing here. Let's bring you... Here. Oh, another mech there. That was the Thunderbolt, right. Alright, let's see if we can finish up this turret. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm gonna leave the barrage on, because, I mean, we'll hit the buildings too, right, with it, so... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, whatever. Receiving you. He needs to take on the Orion. As much as I want to... Well, what tur... What is this turret? I have no idea. Okay, we might know now. Nope, still don't know. Um. Uh, see ya. Going down. So he's pilot's taking. He's down two or four. That should be three. Oh, is he gone? He's out. No, nope, he's still on. Still going. What is all this? Is that where minefields are? What is this now? AMS working overtime. Uh huh. Taking minimal damage. Yep. Yeah, I think that's where minefields are. Because that artillery just cleared the minefields. Commander. Alright, B, you're up. Um, Grasshopper's already gone. Where's that Thunderbolt? It's over here. There's a turret there. Gotta make sure they can't get direct fire on her. You know what? Maybe we go off here. Oh, they can see her directly. Thinking about maybe going after this. Uh, I can st still kind of see her here. Uh, yeah, we got to clear out these guys at the front here. So let's jump over here. And we'll vigilance. We got more uh, guys over here. At least we're seeing them. And then we'll just shoot up this guy. Got the angle. Taking the stuff. Wow, really? I only one hit. Huh. At least these barrages will do some damage to the buildings. Yeah, man, 14 of 14. Gotta love it. Commander. Just 
stay out of the barrage. Okay, you got the heavy guns, so I'm thinking we should probably clear this turret up first. I don't... well, the, you know what? The barrages might do it. It's only got 100 hit points. That's got 80. The back one's got 100. Let's fire on this back one. Wow, only two hit, eh? Nope, we got it. Alrighty. Who's going next? Firestarter. Coming in for a melee attack, are ya? For what, 15 points or something? Damage minimum. Waiting for orders. Our ah, guys are in the way here. That's not so bad. Let's move into here. That turret's going to be taking two barrages, so I don't know if I want to um, shoot at it this turn. God, this thing is a murderer. Report. <laughs> Zero from 70 hit by AMS. This thing's a murderer. Yeah, you keep working on trying to get me, buddy. Yeah, he'll take two barrages. Victor's jumping back there, eh? Ready to rock. Is this guy dead, or what is up with the Orion? I can't seem to be able to target him. Let's get into here. Get our stability back. See ya. Target down. Got that right. Talk to me. Yeah, I can't seem to target the Orion, so he must be dead. He must be dead. Twenty three on this turret. Wow, we're overheating. Oh, because of the AMS. Let's uh, turn that off overload for now. <laughs> uh, well, those guys put out a lot of heat. So let's just go this. Actually, you know what? Let's Warlord it. We'll drop some heat. And then... We got the best chance to hit this guy, so we might as well. Locked on target. Okay. Target destroyed. I wasn't convinced that the uh, the strikes were going to have an effect on it. Okay. Now let's shoot at this guy that's kind of out of range of the other buildings. Leave these two off. That one's gone. So this building will probably drop with the barrage. Maybe. At least the barrage will remove the minefield. I'm pretty sure that's, the, that's what this is now. I think some of the mechs that have certain sensors um will detect the minefields, and I think that's what this is, is they show up on the map when you're detecting them. What the hell is firing back there? Uh, 
Alrighty. Sniper artillery emplacement. Okay, that's the next target. Alrighty, Hopper. I've got your back. Is there a way you can get in to see that sniper placement? I don't think so. Sprinting. What is this giving us? Oh, that gives us target and the sniper. Here we go. Um, Incendiary's doing three. Artemis does four. Really. Well, we have a better chance to hit, too, so let's go this route. Hammer this turret. Firing. Gonna need more AMS than that, guys. <laughs> let's take this building down. <laughs> Jump away, buddy. Jump away. Who do we got to take that turret down? There you go, or that building, I mean. So if we move to there... You got it. Can we target that building? So he took 41 to each leg. Alright, I'm just interested to see how much damage he would take. At least it looked like it took 41 to each leg? No, it spread it around it looks like. So he took 27. Yeah, I don't know, a little bit here and there. Maybe it was four. It can't be 41 total. I don't know. Whatever. Um, who do we got next? Yes, Commander. Can we get a good line of sight? We can, right there. On the move. Full speed. Let's get rid of this sniper plate emplacement here. Roger that. Oof, only one hit, but that's good enough. Good enough. One less target. Got the right stuff. Standing by. Alright, we can see this guy, so let's take a shot at him before we jump away. Target confirmed. Got the tag on, looks like. Ooh, took a shot to the head. Smash some shit while we're landing. So who do we got left? We got the Vulture and the Black Knight. Okay, so this didn't get wiped out by the Barrage. That's interesting. The Barrage should, should wipe it out. That's a building. Can we... Alright, let's move into here where the turret can't see us. That's the normal Thunderbolt, I think. Nope. Nope. Yep. Let's mess him up. Oh, we missed with the big one. Damn it. Uh, it's always sucky. It's nice to have that big damage, but if you can't land it, it's a problem. Um, let's go to here. Run over a few cars. Let's pull this building down. I'm gonna leave the streak off. Um, yeah, we've got lots of turns of firing left. Boom! How you like me now? One left structure. 
Okay, one more building structure. Seems awfully thin for the number of mechs here. We've gotten two. I know the the game has been updated, so it's. Don't know if they messed with the amount of mechs and stuff, but it just seems kind of light on defense here. Well, thanks for showing up. Making a lot of noise, doing almost no damage. Commander. Moving to position. Huh, that grasshopper didn't move, huh? Oh, I guess he goes later than us anyway. Uh going to sensor lock this guy because we're going to put the uh, Black Knight on him and we're just going to shoot this guy up get the tandems back up and hammer him Copy that. I'm liking the balance. They're really getting good at balancing rogue tech here. Talk to me. They're like uh, honestly the the balance now is like really good in this game. I'm really enjoying it. We got a guy in front of us. Um uh, ready for orders. Okay, turret can't directly see us, which is good. Get to the side of this guy and just hammer the crap out of him. Never gets old. Reporting critical hit. Damage is always so big. When that thing lands, it's just terrifying. Couldn't imagine being on the receiving end of that. Is there a way I can get in here without this turret seeing me? I don't think so. Actually, that's not a bad position there. We'll go. I'm gonna go ahead and vigilance this. And just shoot this guy up. Confirmed. Eh. Eh. Alright Hopper, now, nah, oh no you can't because the Warhammer's still in the way. Uh, the Warhammer's not going to move though. Um, Clear the way, I'm coming in fast. Alright, here it comes. Aye, aye. Hey, I messed that. Ooh, another head hit, nice. And a knockdown. For another head hit. Enjoy it, Bubba. Down to three of six. Okay, we got the vulture now. Oh no, metal arc first. Skipper. Skipper. Got a knockdown mech. Let's take advantage of it. Uh, let's go for a headshot, because why not? Let's see, what you got. see ya. Pilot incapacitated. I think we took his head off. Yeah. Move order received. No problem. Alright, there's the mission. Get to the LZ for extraction. Now we ain't going anywhere. We got stuff to do, people to kill, you know what I'm saying? Do they only have three turrets? Or am I missing a turret somewhere? That's a point defense turret. Oh yeah, okay, I am, because the point defense is there and the other one, okay. That makes more sense. Oh, they're right by our drop zone. Victor Atlas, okay. The quick draw and the stalker. So that, that's actually not a bad 
reinforcing force. Go back here. Just go back there. Could have moved forward, but I gotta drop her heat. She's like pretty hot, so she's gonna wait for a turn, I think. And then we'll get her back into play. We're gonna knock out this uh the two turrets and this um How can I help? Thunderbolt. Can we get the turrets? We can. Heavy Calliope. Didn't get any of them. Uh, yep. Hey, yup. Let's get a side shot on this guy. We might be able to finish him off. We got the weaponry on this thing now. Yeah, I'm liking the loadout of this much better. Copy that. Boom. Yeah, definitely liking the loadout better. Yes, Commander. It's got the movement too, right? So we might as well no like problem. utilize it. Way. Let's get rid of this Calliope if we can. Should be no problem. Inflicted some heavy damage. Huh. Interesting. Finish up the turrets. Locking off. I think the Warhammer is the next thing we got to take a look at. That's going to hurt. Those four large lasers work really well together, plus the MRM t with the tandem go. ammo. Well, I may want to relook at uh, some of the loadouts on that. Alright, get up over here. Uh, let's hold off on the sensor lock for now. Yeah, he's using his AMS's machine guns. Yeah, we almost got that turret. Interesting that we can actually see those guys over there. Yes, Commander. Slowly work our way into position here to engage these guys. Uh, we're going to switch to this one. Firing on top. Okay, trying to get some sight on us. We'll knock that building out from under him. Got your back. There we go. Confirmed. Can we target this building? Sure can. Uh, let's go to incendiary. Target confirmed. Target See, it says 80 and 80. Now I don't, that can't be the leg damage, because it barely took anything here. So it has a hundred leg armor and it probably went down to about 65. Something like that maybe. Wait, how many boxes was that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and a half, eight. Yeah, maybe about 35 damage, roughly. Commander. Confirmed. Ready to rock. 
acknowledged, Commander. We'll give them a direct line of sight. Finish up this point defense. Ooh, not quite, but good damage. Critical hit. Ready to get it on. That'll do it. Turret destroyed. Got that right. Right here. All on air. Good luck surviving that. God, I'm loving the loadout on this thing. I did have a look at changing that up a little bit, but I, I can't do it. It's just, the loadout is just so good. The MRMs and the streak MRMs are just so good. I did think about putting both streaks in. We got the 30 and the 40. The 30's in there now, but I think the regular MRMs to me. Uh, I think sometimes it's just a little better to have the regular ones as well. Um, let's get over here. Confirmed. Now we're on incendiary, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Thunder augmented, eh? Let's drop some in here. Yeah, I was right. So that is the minefield. Shows you where the minefield is. Cool, okay. Stalker took some damage. We'll find out what that is in a second, because he hasn't been hit yet. So, see how much damage that was. So he went, like, like maybe, like, through two or three hexes here. Can I not highlight this guy? Yeah, what can I do you for? Get into here. So we'll target this guy now that we can see him. I don't think we can. It's it's. I can't right click on him because the uh, the minefield overlay. It's got the same problem with the, as the barrage does. So yeah, I don't, maybe only ten damage at the most. Something like that. Uh, I can't. Okay, there we go. We can do it that way. I've got a sense of luck. Ah, well, evasion unchanged. That's fine. Enjoy it. All right, streak hit. Christ, this thing is devastating. Solid connection on that one. Oh man, talk about shredding armor. Just shredded that guy. Now this guy got a great chance to hit. Um, put the barrage on him too, because why not? See ya. Tango is trash, Skipper. Yep. Victor. I wonder how much damage he took. He was at two and a half bars before. Uh, let's not engage that atlas just yet. Can we get a shot at him from over here? We can't. Uh, almost though. Get to here. Go Sensor go. lock him. Why not? Then we'll brace. Okay, so one of these hex oh that's must be the building. Done. 
That's why I called you. Heading out. It's nice not to have to use that supercharger all the time in the city. Say hello to my little friends. Damn, you missed. All the other ones hit though. It's not bad. It's still 100 points damage. Can't get over the evasion of this thing still. All right, not bad. Now he's not panicking. He's not panicking. That guy is. <laughs> he's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Ah, uh, we got one more. Thunder augmented. Let's drop it on the uh, Atlas here. Uh... I'm not gonna move. No point in moving. Actually, yeah, maybe it is. Actually, let's just go ahead and um, do this. Roger that. LRMs are out. Fill that minefield in a little bit. That's nice. Hopefully we can pull the legs off this atlas. Ooh, see? Ah, the AI is so good now. Yes, it's just so good now. I, I'm loving it. He jumped out of the minefield, the little bastard. Alright, time to engage. Let's see what we got here. That's the victor. We've only got 10. Well, we've got incendiary too. Yeah, let's go up to this guy. We'll hit him with incendiary. Oh, four lasers hit. A little bit of incendiary. Give him a little bit of heat. Orders. Make things a little warmer for him. Moving to position. Let's fuck this victor up. Have, ha, having a nice day yet, bud? You're not now. Ready for order. Need that mobile Gundam platform in here, please. All right. This guy—that—that's a kill. But I want to go after this guy. I think. He's got the AC-20. He's most likely going to use that. So let's hit him with acid. And then we can just crank on him next turn. Yeah, he's going to take a shit ton of damage now. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. Is that enough? Not enough. Who do we got left? Oh, we got B left, really, eh? Ugh, lousy chances to hit, but whatever. Taking the shot. Well, we had to try. Failed to connect. Lifting off. Let's get over here. Can engage these guys next turn. Yeah. Shit, huh? It doesn't clear the minefield. Does not clear that minefield, huh? Okay, do we get to go before them? This guy's on 22. What's, this guy's already gone. Atlas is on 15. So who do we got going first? Metal Arc. What are your orders, Skipper? Roger 
Roger that, Commander. So you got left here. Almost nothing. Let's just hammer him. Ten four. Oh, you never got... Oh, maybe we did. Nope. Reporting. Critical hit. Didn't get where we wanted. Damn it. Ah, maybe we bring B over then. Oh, he's jumping away. He's jumping. Aye, aye. Affirmative. Okay, let's uh, vigilance. Go ahead and shoot this guy up a bit. Okay, there goes the leg. Score to critical. Be kind of cool if he fell off the building. Okay. I've got your back. Incendiary's up. That's nice. Let's go after the Atlas. Hit him with some incendiaries. Seventeen, nah, that's not that bad. Could have been worse. Okay, what's our chance on the Atlas? Seventy-three. And it stays the same? Sure. That's so bizarre. I don't know exactly sure what the hell happened there. Did, was, did that actually count as a called shot? Order. It looked like it didn't, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No problem. This fucking guy. This fucking guy right here. Okay, offensive push. This is the quick draw. We want the Atlas. We're going to go against this leg. Yeah, I guess it was. We just have good chances to hit, I guess. Because he's still under the effects of that acid, right? So... Good to go. Um, can we get a solid line on the Atlas? What if we supercharge you? Yeah, we got a minefield on the way. Okay, cool. Look at Thunder augmented two times two. So I guess it's where there's a potential to hit. Uh, it gives you the estimated times damage. I mean, each one is a percentage chance to hit, right? But. 453. That's the potential for bomblets, I guess. We'll take the times two, because it's really nothing. How much damage are we taking here? If we take anything. Yeah, one and one. Okay. Because now we can go ahead and do an offensive push on Atlas's leg. We got the arm, didn't we? Wrong, we got the right leg went down, torso, arm, everything went off. The whole side's gone. Good luck, buddy. Oh, he bailed out. That's interesting. I guess because the landmines blew up, maybe? He freaked out? Ah, I missed. How can I help? Standing by. One point. See ya. One less target. 
I'll take the Atlas parts anyway. Talk to me. No direct line of sight, huh? Ah, uh, let's just reserve. We got other guys that can attack him. Let him come. I'll be waiting. Will ya? I've got a sensor lock. Excellent. Evasion unchanged, huh? Not sure how that is. You ran from over there. Maybe he didn't have any? I don't know. Am I not in a position to actually shoot this guy? I am not in any position to shoot this guy. Okay. Okay, yeah, it will keep your heat down. It's not helping us in any way, though. What's up, dog? What's up, Nate Dog? Copy that. No Gauss rifle ammo left. Standing That's by. just a mag shot. It's just a mag shot. No shooting, just running. Leaving the supercharger on, it's only ten percent. See ya. Oh, he's still going. Critical hit coming. Damn, he got knocked down. Oh well, we can't shoot him in the back again. I've got your back. All right, let's go for his head. Uh, let's try this leg, maybe. We got good clustering, so what the hell? Um, let's go with LK because we got it. Still doesn't want to bail out, huh? Yes, come in. Don't want to bail out? 86 left, eh? Not anymore. <laughs> now he does. There it is, folks. So the biggest increase to that lance was the uh, the Blackhawk, or not increase, but change to the lance was the Blackhawk. So we've got, like, what, 10, 20, 30, 50% more in a little bit. So not bad. 411,000, we'll take that. Um, yeah, and I thought the Blackhawk actually did fairly well. I mean, well, I got, what, four kills? I mean, but, you know... It's, it's, it all comes down to the speed. Like, everything works really well. The advanced zoom is 540 meters, and almost all of his weapons are shooting at that range because of his uh, gunnery skill and everything. It's like, I don't know. He's, we got the battle, I forgot we had the battle computer headshot in this guy, so next time we take it out, we'll have to remember that and try for go, go for some headshots. But no, I think he worked out pretty well. I'm actually I'm, I'm much happier with that than the uh, two heavy improved lasers, that's for sure. Now, I think I still got a heavy improved laser kicking around somewhere. Uh, I just want to check out what's down here now. Victor part, we've got one already. Advanced AMS, we've got some extended or enhanced LRMs. Yeah, extended range LRMs, whatever it is, but we don't need those hammer fists. Uh, 3.5 ton melee. Who had that? Oh, that was probably the... Um, yeah, that was probably the fire starter. Uh, yeah, we can't use these, unfortunately. The archer's got the uh, the uh, battle axe and the AMS, and we need both of those in there for sure. Ooh, laser AMS, that's a possibility. I'm just going to drop it in there for now. It adds heat, but the fact that it's like one ton, or one and a half tons, two slots... I don't know. We'll see. Um, Bloodhound probe. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Increase sensor and sight range. Two to sensor detection. Okay. Wow, 400 core. We've we've got one, but you know, 
Oh, double heat sink. Oh, man. Oh, okay, well, there's some sea bills right here. Going to take that. Um, death from above. Three times patchwork materials. Or two patchwork materials, tier three. We've got one right now, and I still have, haven't had a chance to put it in anything. Torso mounted cockpit. That's interesting. We haven't really been taking headshots, though, so it's not a big deal. All right, I think we take, I think we drop the laser AMS. And we take the three Atlas pieces. Not sure if they're compatible with the, uh, the boar's head and the, um, the Kraken. Or we could guarantee ourselves of an Orion. No, we'll go this way. We'll just take this. All right, so we've got a grasshopper piece, a stalker piece, okay. Thunderbolt piece, a victor piece, that's nice. Advanced AMS, uh, enhanced LRM, we're just going to drop that out. I'll hang on to the Bloodhound probe, we might use it somewhere. 280 core, we've got one, let's just drop it. We're going to need the money. We're going to need the money for this, plus I would never use it, like, I'm not going to use this. 812,000 right there, beautiful. Double heat sink, we've got a bunch of these, yeah, so we can sell that. Standard cooling. AC-20 ammo can go, I think. We're not going to be using regular AC-20. Alright, so that's actually not that bad. We did okay. Alright, 66,000. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So we made some good sea bills. we got 3 million right now. we got enough for our financial report. Let's go into the mech bay, because we wanted to check on the Warhammer 2C from the last episode, and it, on the Atlas for this episode. So let's go to Assault. And Warhammer 2C is 80 tons. We've got three here, and we don't have any other 2C pieces. Okay. Atlas, now, um, it looks like it is compatible with both the Boar's Head and the Kraken, so we can assemble one of each. Oh, do I just go ahead and do it? Eighty-seven thousand for the Atlas part. I, I'm I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but I'm gonna put them both together. And then the boar is head. It's the whole reason we, why we got the parts in the first place. That neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. Alright, let's have a look at these guys. <laughs> it's the reason why we got the parts. We gotta put them together. Alright. Pair of atlases. Alright, Kraken first. Oh, it looks like a little bit survived. We'll see here. Interested to see what this guy's all about here. So the Gauss rifle's gone. LRM 20's in. Intimidating. Strikes fear in their enemies and makes them more likely to panic in a 200 foot, I guess 200 meteor, meteor, meter radius. <laughs> it's a, this mech doesn't just have reputation. Its appearance crushes all hope of fighting back. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um... Okay, how much is it to uh, just repair this guy here, really quick? Yeah, sure, 342,000. How many days though? Eight days, that's not that bad. Is it really adding anything to us though? Like honestly, what are we getting from this? It's got the XL engine in it. We've got two ballistic slots, one missile slot, and two laser slots, and two lasers in the center torso. So, I mean, what... Short of making this guy... Like, okay, let's just... For the sake of argument, I'm going to do a couple things here. Sake of argument, right? We got the we got the, the, the weight to add in here. Well, barely. Barely. I mean, we would probably have to leave the XL engine in if we were going to actually do stuff here. Um, and then I just want to quickly drop in, um, let's just pull out one of these guys, XL Gyro. That saves us another four and a half tons or four tons. Okay, so, um, weapon system, because I wanted to really see, we could put the Hellstorm artillery in here. 
It's 18 tons, but I think the sniper is the best one. It's 100 damage, right? So the sniper fills requires one additional free slot. What? Oh, because it uses three more than what we've got here. So we would have to pull out. Yeah, watch this. Um, you got to pull that out. Where are you, sniper? There you go. So yeah, because it uses three reserve slots. It still leaves us uh, 10 tons for ammo. And the LRM could probably, well, I don't know. If we're going to use this in a, as an artillery mech, we may want to leave that in. Uh, mortar 6 is too big. The thumper artillery, 75 damage, 15 tons. So if you put the thumper in, right, then we could put the mortar in as well. And just turn this guy into an artillery platform that just stands at the back. It kind of defeats of having the intimidating quirk though. Or we, I mean, if we turn this guy into a melee mech, like let's say it was just going to go melee. Wow, he just had regular heat sinks, eh? Uh, we take that out, pull these guys out, pull this out for a second. And then if we go to, sorry for messing around. I'm probably just going to mess around with this guy and the other and the other Atlas here for before the end of the uh, episode. I probably won't uh, uh, upgrade anything yet, but just wanted just to see here. We could put the 400 core in and have almost no weight left. But we could, but we still have room for, um, like if we were going to do it, we'd have to go like Feral Lamellar, which I think is probably, well, I mean, we could go Harden, what we had to max out the armor if it's going to be melee. We could go Harden, but it weighs so much, right? The Feral Lamellar reducing the damage by 20% is a huge deal. And then we could go, uh, where is the... Just regular endo steel, because we don't have to worry about spaces. And um, heat sink plus two can probably come out to save some weight. The internals would be just a regular double heat sink kit. And then we've got weight here. Um, we need the, the TS. Well, how much can this guy carry? 10 tons. If we do this. Right now, it can carry 20 tons. Then we can put. Um, this is a three-ton hatchet. We have the 10-ton hatchet on the other guy. We could put that in. I wonder if it'll work with the shield. Where is the shield? Combat shield, seven-ton combat shield. So that's 14 more percent damage reduction. Right. TSM's heat activated. Is this? Yeah, that's fine. We can fill this. We can fill the slots up. I'm okay with that. Right. So if we could, can we? We can do this too, right? We can. So I wonder if we could put the two-handed axe in there as well. What speed are we looking at right now? Four six, and we've got four eight on the other guy. And it's going to be 50% movement walk plus 60 meter walk distance when active. So it's not that much more, right? So what are we at now? Yeah, he'll be able to walk faster than he can run. 160 meter movement. It's pretty damn slow, even with the 400 core in there. Um, but we need to keep that for sure. I was thinking if there's a way we can get this. I, I don't know if a supercharger. Will, like I know the mask doesn't work with this. We can get a supercharger. It's almost better. to I mean, I don't know. This gets him into battle slowly, but he's like super armored. It's like minus 14, minus 34 percent damage. That's insane. It's definitely better than having double hit points. Um, yeah, it's a possibility. I mean, and then with our lasers, we've still got a medium VSPL. We could put a medium VSPL on each arm because that'll give us plenty of heat. 
to, in order to activate the TSMs. Because that's 60 heat, right? Geez, for that matter, you can even go large improved heavy and... Um, so this gives you more range than the medium VSPL. So you can fire it a little farther distance with almost the same heat. And it gives you way more damage. Well, this is eight, this is 90, right? Yeah. So it's about this. It's this is a little better, a closer range. But that's actually not that bad, you know. Because definitely we we would put the big hatchet in here. So that's a possibility for this guy. You want to use the intimidating stat for this thing for sure. Now the boar's head. Um, this looks like we lost his head on this guy. We lost the arms. Ah, well. Wow. It still got intimidating, though. Endo TSM built right in. So this guy would definitely be the melee mech instead. He's already got the 400 core. Yeah, so we would build this guy into the melee mech. Then the other guy could be the artillery platform. It would totally work that way, for sure. I mean, I hate to leave this XL engine in a melee mech. You lose one side, the, the mech's done, right? We definitely need to have heavy AMS on this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, and we got plenty of laser slots. We can put, rather than putting like one big, you know, like a medium VSPL, we could chalk in a ton of medium, like regular medium lasers. Well, you're still getting more heat, heat for the buck with this guy, with the uh, medium VSPL. But we could add a bunch of smaller lasers in too if we wanted to, just to kind of give us the flexibility to determine how much heat we want to have, you know. I'm shocked that this guy, it just seems lighter for some reason. Like once I take this out, you know, we got a plus, that. that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think, you know, this guy's going to become the melee mech, I think. The boar's head for sure. Yep, I think we'll do that. I think we'll refit the, pull off the stuff off the archer. Once we get some more sea bills, we're going to need, well, we're not going to need that much. This is a million to fix it. Right? Because we haven't added anything. We just fixed it. It's going to cost a million to fix it. Which we don't have at the moment. So I think that's what we do is we turn the boar's head into a melee mech. And we turn the kraken into the artillery piece. We put the sniper artillery in it, just have it stand at a distance. I don't have to put full armor on it. I'll put the stealth um, stealth armor on it. And it'll just stand back and fire at a distance. As long as we have enough ammo, i got to double check how much thumper ammo we have. Or sniper ammo, I mean. But yeah, I think that's how I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'll leave these guys here for now. I want to run the archer a few more times just to see how it's working out. I like the speed on it, you know. That's the thing I don't think we're gonna get with the boar's head. This has got a little bit more speed than this, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But once the boar head's boar's head closes, it's gonna be way better than the archer. That's for sure. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And also, if you've got any suggestions for the two loadouts, um, please let me know. I mean, it, like, they're going to sit there for a bit. It's only, it's not costing us that much. It's only costing us about 100000 plus two max to sit there, which really isn't that much. Um, so I'll leave them there for now, and then we'll work towards, I think one needs to be the artillery mech. The other one needs to be the melee mech. Because then we can just leave the, the, the 300 core in the other guy. We don't need to put a big engine in. It can just sort of, you could, for that matter, I could drop it down to a 250 or something. And have it move like <laughs> walk 2, run 3. And just have it sit. As soon as it lands, it's just going to sit there and fire. So, 
But yeah, all right, so I'm leaving the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see you later.